Hey, everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. With that, let's get up to MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This is the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, happy to be with you. And Charles, we've got two teams who know each other extremely well. These division games, they tend to be battles. People scout like crazy in this league, but no one scouts more than within the division. Because if you win your division, you're automatically in the playoffs. That puts extra emphasis on these games, and they can't wait to get at each other. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback, a multiple-time pro bowler. It's, of course, Eli Manning. An extremely durable player. Had 210 consecutive starts in the NFL before missing one in 2017. And when you have to deal with him in the playoffs and a Super Bowl's on the line, Eli Manning's at the top of his game. Manning now on first down. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Brandon Graham in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. They'll run. This is Jonathan Stewart. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Working from the gun, Manning. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Now Sproles. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. As we get a peek at the number two overall pick from the 2016 draft, standing at six foot five, Carson Wentz. Not only does he look the part, he plays it as well. Tall, prototypical looking pocket passer with better athletic ability than what people think. Gets outside of the pocket and makes big plays downfield. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now it's the Boise State alone. Jay Ajayi. 
And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Holding offense. So on the big tight end, still the, first down. each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. the 43 that time. Damon Harrison, the one on the stop. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Shotgun now for Wentz. And that is incomplete. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. So on comes the eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. This is taken at about the 14. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. Here's the Giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 26. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And the big meet on the D-line. We'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Manning to throw on second down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here's Manning to throw to Barkley on the check down. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Obviously, they didn't get everything they wanted on that completion, but they put themselves in a spot where you've got to at least think about going for it. I know where we are on the field, but still, you've got to think about it, don't you? Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. 
And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But I believe it was covered by an eagle. It was. And Philadelphia is going to hold on to the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Well, the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Working from the gun, Wentz. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series you have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Aguilar has it. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Really? Really? Did we just see that? That's a big catch. One-handed, I might add, to pick up a first down. I was going to say, on third down for the defense, it's one thing to give up a reception. You just kind of shake your head on a one-handed catch to pick up the first. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second down, here's Wentz. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Mike Wallace, the intended receiver. Third down here. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here we go, here we go. The the now a play fake. Wentz. He's got his man. That's Wallace. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. He got 29 yards that time. Oh, 
From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. They run with a Johnny, and he stopped immediately there. Tackle made that time by Dalvin Tomlinson. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is, and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance, they're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Well, that second down run, a big help. as seven yards leaves him with just a third and three now. Well, there's an example of patience being rewarded. Ran the ball on first down and got stuffed. Most people would scream, throw the ball here in this situation. They stayed with their roots, stayed with running the football, and they got rewarded. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an Eagle slow to get up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Now to try the Eagle field goal, Jake Elliott. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. They pass up the three, fake it, it doesn't work. Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. This is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. From the gun, it's Manning. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. Manning now to throw. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Lewis. And he'll get it up to the 33 yard line. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. 
I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A first down carry for Barkley. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Manning the throw on second down. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, and now it's third down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Manning. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Mills. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Here we go, here we go. Here's a handoff to Sproles to start the drive. Brings it up just shy of the 25. Showed some of that quickness there on the move. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs... They're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. to throw on second down and complete to Zach Ertz and this one will go to the 28 yard line that catch good for five it's third down well they're unable to convert that into much but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause The offense on third down tonight they've hit two for four thus far they're looking at third in the nose of the football Here's a giant. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A gain of 11 and a first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. So after the run by Jay Ajayi, here's first and 10. Hey. 
Throwing on first is Lentz. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Midfield. Here's Wentz. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47 yard line. Olivier Vernon able to get in there and drop him for a two yard loss. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Throwing now is Wentz. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Pass interference. Defense. So even with the pass interference, it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite the pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Early down stuff, so put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. And they'll go on the ground. And he'll take it down to the 30 yard line. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and two. From the gun, it's Wentz. They're able to locate Wilson. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Wentz going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And on the ground they go with the running back. And they'll get this down to the 10. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, it's working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Come on now, Ollie. Come on now. Let's go. There we go. There we go. 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stock troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. And the ball situated at the nine, second and goal. Now wins. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. And when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Wentz now on third and goal. And he'll score! Touchdown, Eagles! Carson Wentz, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that drive spans 13 plays and a nine-yard run on the end of it. Elliott now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. At the end of one, 7 nothing is our score. Back to MetLife Stadium in just a moment. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back here with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. We've had the kickoff to begin the first quarter. Now it's time for the second quarter kickoff. And they've got it here with a first down. Shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. To Shepard, complete over the middle. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Four yards on that last completion. So that sets up second and six. To throw is Manning. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Blue 80. 
They go play action here on first down. And this is incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Manning will try again on second down. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The Giants on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time they face a third and two. From midfield, here's Manning. And that's complete to Lewis. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. I feel like Eli Manning has just gone from downfield bomber to a guy who can complete everything. He can hit him underneath now, yeah, can't he? Yeah, we just saw that there with that pass completion. The maturity of a veteran taking what the defense will give him. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Stewart on first down. And an alley to run. And he's taken down inside the 30. 12 yards there as they move the chains. It's a big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. False start, offense. So that one will be accepted. Still first down. A full start, backs him up five, first and 15. Following the penalty, here's Stewart. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game, the effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage. I really liked what he did there. On second down, here's Barkley. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. To throw, it's Manning. And Latimer's got it. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one.
So the offense a little antsy. The flag comes out and a five-yard penalty. False start offense. Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All Still his assignments down. and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. From back at the eight now after the false start, another try at first and goal. Working from the gun, Manning, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Sterling Shepard from eight yards out, and the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. When you give up a long touchdown drive, you're looking for a silver lining. In this case, it's the fact that your offense had a chance to rest, and now they can come out and feel charged up and ready to go. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. Rosas good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. The 10 play drive that time, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. On the return, it's Wendell Smallwood. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And out now come the Eagles. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Brinson, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 27. Shotgun now for Wentz. Hurts over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Wentz now, on, 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. Wentz now to throw. Being chased out left. He'll get 8 on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football. But how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. The Eagles on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. Here it's third and two. 
And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Right back to him on first down. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Playing against a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front, and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's going to get this inside the 30. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. It's really come into vogue to talk about the different gaps that the defense tries to attack in an offensive line. And most of the time, we're talking about blitzes. How many times have you heard double A-gap blitz? But where is the A-gap? It's the space between the center and the guards, either side. So when you're having a double A-gap blitz, that's two guys coming through that gap. In this situation, though, that A-gap wasn't open for the defense to exploit. The offensive line took care of it, protected it, and moved the defensive guys out of the way to allow for that nice run. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Illegal block in the back. Offense. So retract the yardage and retract Still the touchdown. Down. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. Here we go, here we go. Now flags come in here. Look like one of the Eagles might have moved. False start, offense. They get Lane Johnson, the number four pick back in 2013. Still first down. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. And they'll run it here. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It'll be a pickup of 13 on the play, and it'll be second down. Not an ideal spot to be on first down, but I love that the play caller did not immediately abandon the running game and say, okay, we've got to throw it in order to pick it up. Stayed with the run, was rewarded with a big-time pickup. Now they're in second and manageable. Touchdown. Darren 
Sproles taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles are able to cash it in for six. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments. Let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. And result, touchdown. Elliott on for the extra point. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So that drive consumes nine plays all told, and it results in a four yard touchdown run. Elliott now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here now, time to discuss Odell Beckham Jr. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Manning to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Shepard. A gain of six there on first. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll run it now out of the gun. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Manning now on first down. We'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Here's a give to Barkley. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and the Eagles have recovered. Yeah, Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only going to tip it, I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations, big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Jay Ajayi works his way back onto the field. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it.
Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. So the fumble recovery, and now Manning. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Manning. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Give him two yards on that play. And that'll lead here to a third down. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Throwing his Manning on third down. And Ingram holds it in. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A big 30-yard play on third. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. What an advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. Second down, here's Manning. Finding a safety valve here, that's complete. It'll go as a loss of a yard and it'll set up third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it and it won't help them at contract time. To throw on third down, Manning, and this is going to be incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Aldrich Rosas now to try the Giants' field goal. From the left hash, this from 37. to the football it's blocked now it's scooped up and this is a live football yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. That's our ball. Our but when it all comes together and you get the field goal block that's been designed that's been drawn up everyone has to feel good about it on that side of the ball how about that one there to the left side knew what they had that's where they wanted to be and they got their designated guy turned free So now a chance for points in the opposite direction after the blocked field goal. To throw is Wentz. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It was the safety, Darian Thompson, that time who was able to break it up. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, 
four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock down, but away and bring up second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Back to the air on second down. Wins. That's into the hands of Wallace over the middle. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's gonna be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, gotta like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's gonna get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The Eagles on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. Here it's third and three. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. And now out come the Giants. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10. Shotgun now for Manning. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Shepard. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now Manning throwing on second down. Oh, nearly picked. And yeah, maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. 
The Giants on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. They're up against a third and one situation. From the gun, it's Manning. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. The stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes the timeout. And now we're set to get going. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Operating from the gun, Manning. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's brought down. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of the defense. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Now Manning. They find Shepard. Touchdown, Giants. Sterling Shepard with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let their return guy touch it. PAT up and good by Rosas. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. So that winds up a seven play drive all told. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants.
So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. But just 18 seconds remain till halftime as they come up on first and 10. They'll begin the drive with a J. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Fielded about a yard deep. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. On play action, it's Wentz. Ertz has it left side. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Give him 30 yards there. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. They run again with a giant. 
And he's taken down inside the 30. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. First is Wentz, and incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Second and 10 now from the 29. And they'll go on the ground. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. One yard, the official pickup there, so it's going to set up third and nine. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. The Eagles on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and nine. They fake the give. Now wins. He's got his man. That's Wallace. The first down for the Eagles, Wentz fighting the former Raven Wallace. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down, very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. Wentz now 11 of 17 passing thus far. He's got his guys a first and 10. Into the red zone, Wentz. A dump off to Sproles. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. It's a four yard pickup and that'll make it second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Hey, 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 hey. Working from the gun, Wentz. His pass caught at the four. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. An eagle first down there, Wentz to Ertz, and the names that end in TZ. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Here we go, here we go. Now here's a whistle as flags come in, and we'll check out the call. False start, offense. Still first down. On now, so from the now, two, now they move back to the seven yard line, first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. This is taken in by Jeffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Alshon Jeffrey, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles have moved out in front. 
And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Elliott now to add the extra point. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. That time, a nine-play drive. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Elliott now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. They'll try and get this run game going. This is Barkley. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give the tackle that time to Rodney McLeod. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Manning the throw on second down. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And a nice gain of 21 yards. You know as well as I do, it's really important to get Odell Beckham Jr. involved early. And that's the first time that Eli Manning was able to find him, and we're in the second half. You think he and Eli maybe had some words on the sideline, hey, let's get on the same page? Without a doubt, because they know that that kick starts their team, that gets them going, and now they have to do it again and again as we go down the stretch. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. A handoff to Barkley, and across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it, because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Manning to throw on second down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass thrown a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. The Giants on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and eight. Working from the gun, Manning. He dumps it off to Barkley. It's a gain of seven, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for New York. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. 
And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. Carson Wentz and the Eagles make their way out to the field. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader, making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged, mm -hmm. how big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. Here's a handoff to Ajayi to begin the drive. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. Play action. Now wins. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. First target, first catch, and a first down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap, to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Wentz now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. And on the ground they go with a running back. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Throwing on second down. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch. Maybe you move some motion. Maybe you put them on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. To throw, it's Wentz. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Alec Ogletree in on the stop. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. The Eagles on third down. They've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. This is third and nine. Shotgun now for Wentz. Goes underneath for Sproles. Sproles lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. All I know, partners, that with every play call that came in, 
there was a little discussion about, hey, we can seal this bad boy. We can really put ourselves in a great spot to take total control, and yet they find a way to cough it up. Yeah, the two-score game opportunity eludes them, and now a chance for the other side to come back here. Yeah, that means defense has to go out there and make some plays themselves. So we call sudden change. Let's see if the defense is mentally ready to take care of it. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. So the fumble recovery and now Manning. It's complete on the bubble screen. That's Lewis. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way, lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Well, so much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through and get a really nice gain. The defense had felt great about what they had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle him up again? Because I'd say after that run, confidence is pretty high for him. Now a play fake here on first down. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Fletcher Cox forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys... Hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. On third and long, it's Manning. And that is incomplete. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Here's Riley Dixon now. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And yeah, difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Wentz now on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. 
Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. First down, Wentz. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A gain of 32 that time. Alshon Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body, ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control. And you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. From the red zone now, Wentz. Looking left side, it's complete, he's got it. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, in the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it? For them to get downfield that quickly, and now first and goal, expect them to attack right here on this play. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now Wentz again. And this is going to be incomplete. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense. But in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass. Excellent job. Way to knock it down. On second and goal, Ajayi, the lone man in the backfield. They'll come out in the pistol. They'll give it to him up the middle. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Not only was that a terrific play, but that loss of yardage they created this close to their own goal line, that gives them a little breathing room now as they move them back. And they're breathing fire a little bit right now, aren't they? A lot of confidence being shown by them at this point of the game. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? They stay on the ground. Again, it's Ajayi. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jay Ajayi, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles had six to their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. Elliott on for the extra point. Elliott good with a PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So the drive there took six plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run by Jay Ajayi.
Elliott now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. And in the early going, the running game, as we see the numbers, it just wasn't on point. Well, now it's gotten more true to form. And sometimes it takes a little while for an offensive line to get in sync because early in a game, defenses throw different patterns at you, different formations, different sets, and you might not block them quite the way you want to, but as you start to get into a groove and you figure out what they're doing, now it all comes together, and that's what we're seeing right now. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Manning going to throw. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. A really nice gain of 25 yards. But simply no sense in wasting a great catch like that on a short gain. Get downfield like you just did there and use it up that way. No dink and dunk. Manning now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. False start, offense. Still first down. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Oh, yeah. Nigel Bradham brings him down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Giants with possession of the football but needing points as we start quarter number four. The Giants on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and 16. From the gun, it's Manning. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly. So that'll come back to the 20. 
Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 20. From the gun, it's Wentz. Ertz over the middle. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Now Wentz on the bootleg. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. When a linebacker is able to sit at the second level and see things develop in front of him, as soon as he got a hint that the quarterback was checking it down, he just made a beeline directly for the receiver and ended up making the play. Catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Wentz. And this is going to be incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return. And New York set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 right at the 30. Shotgun now for Manning. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Manning will try again on second down. And complete to Lewis over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give them a lot of confidence to help turn things around. Three down, three down. 
On second down, here's Manning. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Three down, three down. Three down. Hey, fellas, we got three. It's a lot of Let's contact go. going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Hey, 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 hey. Step four and eight. From the gun, Manning. And yeah, this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Here's Riley Dixon now. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. They got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They start out on the ground with a J. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football. But they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Well, they're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these and types of situations, down. players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. First and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Throwing on first is Wentz. Drops it off to Ajayi. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Here we go, here we go. On second down, here's Wentz. A dump off to Sproles. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. Wentz to throw on third and one. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. 
I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. Eli Manning and company getting set here as they head back onto the field. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start. This defense, they made some good adjustments, so he's fallen off since. You have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact they had a tough first half, he was locked in, right? Rocking and rolling. They came out, made their adjustments, got their confidence back. Now they're causing him all sorts of trouble. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Working from the gun, Manning. Open man right side is Ingram. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Here's Riley Dixon now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On first and ten, here's Wentz. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here we go, here we go. They go play action here on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Dallas Goddard, 52 yards. And the Eagles add on to their lead. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. Elliott now to add the extra point. Elliott good on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. 
The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Elliott now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And he finally runs out of gas, but not before he's inside the 10 yard line. Similar to golf, you never want to count a score before it actually happens, but you have to figure. They thought they were going to get six on that play. Great effort to keep them out of the end zone, but a big-time return. The Giants' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Breaking the huddle first and goal as the return team has set him up with golden field position. False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got False defensive start. linemen Offense. flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. That false start knocks them back behind the 10 now as they'll try again, first and goal. Now Saquon Barkley. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They'll run with Barkley, and this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. This drive started with first and goal. Now that it's fourth and goal, anything less than a touchdown would feel like a letdown to me. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. Now Manning, got to have this one. And this is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right. 
except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. Been a very strong performance for them, really on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap, been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless, take care of the ball on the way out. Back near the goal line, here's Wentz. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Richard Rodgers, that time. That'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. From the gun on third down, wins. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And he lost the football. And who's got it? The Giants. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. The New York set to take the field. And last time, they had it fourth and goal. Rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. Hey, a simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. False start, offense. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Operating from the gun, Manning. His throw incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. It's not a bad idea. Set up in the gun. Send a bunch of guys out wide and let the defense think you're going to try and put one in the end zone. But here, the draw play just gets bottled up from the start, and he'll wind up losing yardage. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. On third down, Barkley. And the ball is knocked out. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover.
A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty. And the Eagles defense able to hold. And that makes them now 0 for 3 on fourth down attempts. A lot of people would say they're showing a lot of guts going for it this many times on fourth down. I think they'd have to start thinking with their head a little bit more than with their gut and their emotions because it's not working for them. They've got to figure out what's been going wrong. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 13. Now they try the right side here. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Wentz to throw on second down. It's caught by Aguilar. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Shotgun now for Wentz. This one complete to Sproles. It's a gain of four, and it gets him the first. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling. So they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward. And they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. And they'll run it here. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a third down. Now that's a nice play. Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking it in the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, Whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? Now Wentz on third down. And Jeffrey's got it. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Here we go, here we go. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. Carry win the one to bring him down. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And a couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. And they'll go on the ground. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from MetLife Stadium.